Hi everyone, this is Jacob again making another video on uh, Samoan language. Again, I make these videos for people who uh, want to learn Samoan, whether it's because of visiting there um, or they've got family or friends that speak Samoan um, and they want to be able to carry on conversations and kind of uh, get more involved with, with those family and friends. Again, coming from an English perspective, obviously I'm not Samoan. I, I'm a native English speaker and I had to learn this as an adult. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful as we go through this. Uh, today's less of a grammar lesson. I, I do have other grammar lessons uh, and other videos you can check out, uh, but this one I wanted to make more conversational or situational. Uh, so this one I, I centered around making purchases. So if you're planning on going in Sa to Samoa, um, some of the things that might be helpful to you if you're trying to make a purchase, whether it be uh, from a small sort of family owned store or whether you're in one of the town areas just kind of doing regular shopping. So hopefully this is helpful. Again, if this is something you like, let me know. Hit the like button or subscribe or leave a comment, any and all of those things. I really appreciate it. Thanks. So three basic areas that I'll try and cover in today's video. I'll talk about kind of the setup, meaning like, hey, how does, how does purchasing some will look compared to maybe what you might be used to say in the US or, or a lot of the other kind of westernized countries? Um, some useful phrases. And then kind of like all the videos I've got, um, I've curated a list of vocab that I think might be useful in those situations. Again, vocab is a tricky thing. Um, vocab is something that if you know you want to say something, get a dictionary to kind of look that up. But I've definitely put together some uh, vocab here that I think would come in handy. Um, but I also have other videos that might also help as well. So with that being said, uh, the setup, really there's kind of two venues that you would be uh, making purchases in Samoa. One I'll call town buying. And, and again, in Samoa, when we, when we see the word town, really each island has like one town area. Um, where And then there's many villages that are sort of in the outlying or the outskirts um, elsewhere along the island. Um, and then there's sort of purchasing within the village. And really, you, the kinds of things that you buy in these two different situations are usually pretty different. There is some overlap. But generally in town, this is kind of what you might um, might be most analogous to sort of what you're used to in, in more of a Western setting in the sense that there are supermarkets, there are specialty store, stores, there are um, specialty sh uh, shops. Um, maybe unlike sort of most Western settings, there's probably a flea market of some kind or another. There's probably like a produce market. Um, but it's definitely the more robust uh, scene. And for the most part, you could probably get by in English in almost any of the situations um, in the town. Like most people manning those shops probably speak, if not really good English, at least pretty good English to get by. Um, but at the same time, it, at least if you're like me, uh, the more you can kind of speak um, or try at least and communicate in, in the native language, I, I think it just is... Uh, respectful. Um, on the village buying side, really that's confined to like roadside stands. So you'll often see um, like a stand and they might sell uh, coco samoa, which maybe I'll talk about a little bit, or they might sell um, coconuts for drinking, or maybe they'll sell different kinds of produce, or they might sell uh, something called fungu, which is it's like a special oil that's used for healing and massages and things like that. So there's, there's roadside stands and that's usually one individual manning it. It's not really even a house or a covering, it's literally a stand. Um, and then there's small shops. And these are really small family owned stores and they carry a very limited inventory. They typically are kind of pantry type goods, meaning canned, uh, canned goods, uh, maybe it's rice, um, stuff that you would kind of find in the pantry. You can find sort of noodles and different things like that. A lot of them will carry um, sort of soda or maybe drinking water, things like that, but really limited inventory. Um, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. There is no back office or anything like that. It's pretty much all right in front of you. Um, so with that being said, those are kind of the two areas. If you want to do a lot of shopping, you're probably going to have to head into town. If you just need some basic staples, uh, you can probably you know walk down to um, one of the village uh, small shops, and there's usually not more than one or two, uh, at least not in my experience. So with that, um, some useful phrases. Again, the way I've tried to do this, I'll, I'll go through the pronunciation of the Psalm 1. Um, I've provided the translation in English. Uh, 
these are just those that I thought would be useful in typical situations, but there are there are others. I will say, um, if you are interested in this topic, I would look back at my adjectives video because when you're shopping, if you think about how you do that in English today, if you had to be speaking to a salesperson in order to be able to um, get you something or to tell you more about something, you often use adjectives to sort of describe what that thing is. Oh, no, I like the blue one. Can you give me the small one? Can you give me the big one? Um, so I haven't gone over all the different sort of adjective type words that, that might come in handy, but I have another video on that if you're interested. So these are more just kind of phrases going back and forth, a lot of them around price and things like that, but I'll kind of go over. So uh, just starting from the top left, ole anamia, or you could say anamia, um, and you drop the ole, but basically what this translates to is what is that thing, or, or what are those things, uh, if you drop off the ole. Um, that's just how much is the price. Efia is a general question word for how many, um, and tau means price. Uh, and then you name the thing that you're looking for, because that translates to, do you have any blank? So for example, if you're looking for, I don't know, let's let's say ripe papaya. I'm just thinking of things that I would like. Um, or you might say, uh, do you have any fans? Like sometimes it gets hot and they sell these sort of very traditional Sam one fans. You might say, um, so that's kind of how you use that. If you're looking for something specific, this is a phrase you can use. Uh, I've talked about this in other videos, but I wanted to make sure I put it in here. Definitely when you're transacting with anybody, use your pleases and thank yous. Fa'amorimorilava is sort of a nice way of saying please. Le'aifaftai, uh, is just no thank you. You might have people come up to you and say, hey, don't you want this? Or, you know, why don't you buy this? It looks very nice. It's a nice, polite way of just saying no thanks. Le'aifaftai, no means, le'ai means no, faftai means thanks. This basically just means it's too expensive or it's very expensive. Um, again, tao means price. Nata is just a, a suffix that basically means difficult. So you're basically saying, ah, that price is pretty difficult for me. Uh, on the opposite end of that spectrum, going over on the right hand side of the table, that just basically means the price is easy or hey, that's that's pretty cheap. Um, the next phrase down, blank, and you, you basically put a noun there. Um, and that basically means I'm looking for, or I'm searching for a specific something or other. So it's very similar to a yai niao, like do you have any blank? Or you could be asking someone, hey, I'm looking for uh, whatever. Maybe you're looking for ta no, like you'll, you'll often see those kava bowls in Samoa and it's kind of like a nice souvenir. Um, so you might be saying, o te sui si ta no, I'm looking for a ta no. Uh, next phrase down, ele lava la tupe. I don't know if anyone else says this, but I, I remember saying that. I, I, I would just say, hey, I don't have enough money. My money is not enough for that. They might call you palangi pelo if you do that. It means lying palangi. Um, but <laughs> it works. Um, and then you insert a number. So in this case, I put lua, which is the number two. Uh, that just basically means, oh, bring two. Like, for example, if you said, hey, do you guys have any... Uh, you know, bottled drinks, um, you say, and they might say, yeah, we have some of those. And then you say, oh, yeah, so it's just a way of saying, great, can you bring me those two, three, four, whatever it is going to be. And again, the situation for the most part is not like in the U.S. where um, you can just go pick out all your products and then you go to a cash register. They have stores that are absolutely like that, like the supermarkets. But a lot of the times it's someone has a shop, you're speaking to the shopkeeper and they go get the, the inventory and bag it for you and all that stuff. So you can't just grab it yourself. Um, so again, the pleases and thank yous are important. So faftai telelava, faftai telelava. It's just thank you very much. And you absolutely should be using your pleases and thank yous in all these transactions. Yelele, uh, just means, yeah, yeah sounds good. Yelele um, means good. Um, yeah is, is kind of a command word. Um, but it just means like, hey, right on, I'm good with that. 
It's basically you might say, hey, how much is that thing? And they might say like, hey, $2.50. Yeah, you're late. Yeah, my salua. Sounds good. Bring two, please. I didn't say the police part, but you get the idea. So hopefully some useful phrases. Um, I've tried to do the pronunciation. Um, let me know if, if these if I sound too fast or something like that when I'm going through them. Um, but hopefully those are useful. Um, and then finally some vocab. Again, with, with each one of these videos, I try and leave you with something that you can practice with, that you can kind of build your vocabulary over time. And again, I encourage everyone to build it yourself. So think of the words that you need to use, want to use, like to use, um, and start building it out using Google Translate, a dictionary that hopefully you've purchased, those kinds of things. Uh, so I'll just kind of go through some things down here. And some of these are random, but I was kind of thinking back, hey, what are the things that I used to buy in the stores? And they're random, but it is what it is. Um, so starting left, fasimodi, fasimodi means soap. Uh, I found myself buying soap a lot. Um, I don't know. It's it, you use it and it runs out. You, you gotta go buy more. Um, fangu, fanguinu or apainu. Fanguinu apainu. These, this is basically a bottle of soda or a can of soda. Fanta rules the country, um, and that's usually sold in a bottle. Um, and but they do have canned sodas as well. And you'll often find these in the small sort of village shops. And sometimes it's just nice to have that, if it's, especially if it's cold on a hot day. Uh, vainu. Uh, vainu is just drinking water, probably what I should have been buying instead of Fanta. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, dala. Dala is just a transliteration of the word dollar. Um, sende. Sense. Again, same kind of story. So not too far from the English word. Um, other things that I found myself wanting to purchase. New. New. New are the young coconuts. So there's like the green coconuts on the tree. You drink them. It's um, super sweet and delicious juice. I encourage everyone to do that. Um, and they sell them on the roadside. It's, it's great. You can't get it anywhere else. It's awesome. Mea uh, famanatsu. Mea famanatsu. That's a souvenir. At least my translation of a souvenir. It basically means a thing that helps you remember. Um, and so I think that would, if you're looking for souvenirs, that's a word that you could use. And I think people would get it. Uh, ofu. Ofu is clothing, so if you happen to be looking for clothing, maybe this is, you know, you can ask, uh, do you have any clothes or whatever, if you're looking for a, a certain Samoan garb, like Ie Lava Lava, which is a, a Lava Lava, or if you're looking for, I don't know, Puritasi for the ladies, kind of those traditional dresses. Uh, Makeki is a market. Uh, taulanga, Taulanga is, is the word for the town area. It literally translates to Anchorage, because uh, that's where the boats kind of would come in. Falawa. Falawa is uh, the word for bread. Um, mata is, a, is an adjective uh, for raw or uncooked or unripe. In fact, um, like what we would call flour um, is falawa mata. Basically, it's kind of like uncooked bread. Um, bula. Bula means ripe. So oftentimes, if you go to the produce market, you might find a lot of green bananas, for example. Um, that may not be what you're looking for if you're not planning on making like a Samoan uh, toanai or something that night. Um, so you might ask, hey, do you guys have any ripe bananas? So you might say, Iainiao faipula. You wouldn't say with that intonation. You'd say, Iainiao faipula. Do you have any ripe bananas? Fai is the word for banana. Um, vela. Vela is an, an adjective for cooked or hot. So you might be looking for like hard boiled eggs, not like uncooked eggs. So you might say, Yainiao fua mo vela. And again, that's the English uh, intonation. In Samoan, you'd say, Yainiao fua mo vela. Do you have any uh, uncooked eggs? Or do you have any cooked eggs? Uh, malulu. Malulu is cold. So, you know, it's nice when you find one of those little stores that has some, like a, a, a refrigerator or an icebox. Um, and, you know, you might ask, hey, do you guys have any, like, cold coconuts? Or do you guys have any cold fanguinu? Um, so, yainiao niu manulu, yainiao fanguinu manulu. Um, tupe is money, fare tupe is bank. Um, I'm sure there's tons of other vocab here, but I'm just trying to give you at least some basics in terms of how to make a transaction. So, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, again, let me know in the comments or like, subscribe, etc. Just to let me know if this is helpful or not. Give me a thumbs down if it isn't. Um, anyway, appreciate you guys listening. Take care. Bye.